Hello folks, today we are going to talk about if the Canon EOS M6 Mark II is still a good camera in 2022. Hello folks, I'm Biography and welcome to my channel where I do reviews, tips and tricks, tutorials and talk about crazy stuff, if you like talking about crazy stuff. So, let's get straight into the into the specs of this amazing USM camera that Canon threw out there, I believe in 2019, it should be. So, this camera came out actually there were two cameras that came out there was the canon uh, 90d and then this one that share the same uh, specs basically but this was created in this beautiful um, vintage look and there were two of them one in gray and one in black i have the black version and i really love it and i went straight with it even though many people sell it told me no don't go for this go for the 90d i was like this is smaller it's amazing for youtube as you can see probably from the image now so i just went straight with this and the specs are it has 32.5 megapixels 4k up to 30 frames per second and 1080p up to 100 frames per second in Europe or 120 depending on where you're in the world so even the Canon EOS R uh, and the RP don't even have 100 or 120 in 1080 they have it in, 7, in 720p so this camera already makes you a little bit understand what was Canon doing there nobody knows but it's amazing because it has an amazing autofocus and that's one of the things why it makes it great for YouTube is actually the best um, EOS M camera um, when we come to autofocus in 4k because in 1080p the M50 it's amazing uh, has an amazing autofocus but then when you switch to 4k forget about it so this uh, M6 Mark II has amazing autofocus and then beautiful 4K, sharp and neat and clean as you can see. Plus, you can adapt it with all the EF lenses because they have the EF to M adapter and you can use all Canon EF lenses. And you can use all the third parties out there from Sigma, um, from wheel trucks and then so on and there is even weirdly there is like an anamorphic lens out there for this camera and I'm like why but I mean why not and I'm actually pretty curious about it I might actually take it I might actually buy it and test it out well we will see. It's amazing for YouTube, this camera, because it's so small and compact. And I will show you now a video of how it actually looks because it's small, compact. You can travel with it and you can film whatever you are. I'm actually now on holiday in Germany and I'm using it to film my YouTube video because it was so small and so compact with the road and with the Pyotech Mantis so it's amazing and I don't know why people throw so much trash on this camera but this camera is so amazing I might actually soon switch it to, to buy the R7 but I'm still fighting against this idea because I love this camera so much that I don't want to do it so I might actually just keep it and wait for the next good camera to use for YouTube maybe well let's see but I love this camera so what I mean is yes in 2022 this camera is still I believe unbeatable for the form factor for how good quality it has and well for the price point too because for the price point it's there with the R10 
but the art then i don't know why i feel like they crippled it so much that it doesn't make sense for me to go out there and buy it i mean if you have the usm mark uh, 6 mark 2 you better just keep it but then if you want to invest in something more affordable then in that case instead of this one you can buy the r10 but if not for me it wouldn't make sense to sell the m6 for the r10 but hey it it depends from what kind of use you want it you need it for and and yeah so thank you for sticking here with me leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think about what i said if you prefer the m6 mark ii or you prefer the r10 or well just share your point of view here with me thank you very much for sticking here with me stay safe stay blessed and see you in the next one